Right, so we're starting on the kitchen build. And I've done a little bit already, just to show you what I've done. I've cut that board, but I haven't cut it narrow enough yet, so I've still got to do another cut on that board. I've put two strips here to sturdy that fridge. Now that gives this side a nice, it says you need 20 mil gap this side and a 20 mil gap this side. So there's plenty, it needs a 20 mil gap both sides. So there's plenty with each strip of this each side. So what I've got to do now is do the backboard that runs along here, which will be the back of the kitchen. Right, so there you go, the board is now cut. And I've cut this as a measurement of 1.14 meters that way. And 735 that way. So that is gonna be the backboard. What I need to do now is do the measurements inwards where the water tank doors are gonna be, or the water tank door is gonna be, and also the door for the gas cupboard. So working that out is gonna be fun. It's all about measuring, not once, twice, three times. Always measure, twice, cut once. It's an easy thing to forget, because if you measure once, then cut it, and you've got it wrong, you've gotta do it all over again, and waste an expensive piece of board. Right, when I've done my measurements, I'll be back to you shortly, and then we mark out on this board where the door apertures are gonna be, and we'll cut them out. So there you go, the first board for the kitchen is in. Fridge is in place. The board is now secured. Let's go around the other side and have a look at it. And there you go. That's gonna be the gas bottle cupboard. And that's gonna be for the water tanks. And this one here. It's a bit floppy at the moment because we have a board to go here. We have a board to go here. We have a board to go here. All in all, I'm impressed with that because we're gonna put a water filler in there. I might do, or I might just leave it so you pull the water tanks out. Prompt note, I think with this one, the water filler isn't going there. I'm not too sure yet. Still not decided on what water tanks I'm using. I've allowed for the latest ones, which will be pull out ones. We'll see. The project will develop as we go along. Like I said, it's all up in the head, and I'm not too sure what's going to go where. And... So, yeah. So, any room either side of the fridge, I don't know if you can see down there. There's more than the 20mm gap, which you require. There's a 20mm gap there. It's an automatic 20mm gap there because there's stoppers on the back of the fridge. And there'll be a nice big gap at the top here. There will be a drawer in there, but plenty of airflow. Right, on to the next bit. And just let me explain. Put in two pieces of timber there to stop the fridge moving from side to side. And this, oh, let's move the square. And this is the first piece of board that's going to separate the water tanks from the fridge. So let me screw them in place. Use the compressor noise.
So that's nice and square. That's the first panel in place. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna install the second panel. And that panel, right, so you can see what I'm doing. So now I need to get it square there. And the other side, which is there. just so you can see it. Square there. And square against the floor there as well. So there you have it, two panels. So this one is where the water tanks are gonna go. Obviously the fridge is there. And that's where the gas bottle's gonna go. All I need to do now is put that end panel on. And that's it. Well, it's not that it that's it but i think that's going to be it for today we will see see how much time we have left right we've got the vehicle outside and as you can see a lot of this kitchen is going in now certainly keeping us busy so i'm working on this end panel behind the driver's seat so then we can put in another little box under the seat where the oh, it's at the back of the seat where the heater vent is going to come out anyway i'm going to crack on with it so you can see what i'm doing and we'll put you in a time lapse of this so you can see exactly how it's going to go um you've pretty much seen the rest of the build now the bed's been done so i don't need to explain everything twice if you do need to know anything leave a comment below and i'll answer any questions you have about this build or anything i'm using here or what i'm doing in the van. Right, I need to crack on. Right, okay, what I need to do now, um, now I've installed this panel here, I need to install a small panel at the back here and a lid at the top here, because this is where the gas box is gonna be. So once that's done, we need to seal all that up and make sure we've got the right size gas bottle and box for the gas bottle. I know it's measured all right, so fingers crossed I've got it right. Let's go and cut that panel and I'll be back to you shortly. Hi everybody, and yep, we're back in the traffic. Oh look, one of the magnets. Excuse that noise in the background. That's under sealing going on to my new bus. Right, so, I feel this videos or these videos, bed build videos, have been a bit bitty. I do apologise if they have been, but if you've got any questions regarding any of this build, leave me in the comments below. So today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting an aluminium edging piece, which gives a nice finish to the end of the kitchen. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and cut that. And once I've cut that, I'll come back to you and I'll slot it on there so you can see what I mean, how it finishes off the edge nice and you just don't have a bare edge or just a trimmed edge. So give me a few minutes and I'll be back to you. Right, so now I've cut the trim at the end here. That's the piece that I was on about. Makes it look nice. And it's literally just that. And that slots on there. I've also cut the piece of board. Nothing ever goes perfect. I've also cut the piece of board that goes across here. So I'm going to try and put that on to show you roughly the size of the kitchen. When I say put it on, I'm only going to test fit it because I've got to cut the holes for the doors. That's all I ever seem to do is cut holes for doors. So there you go makes that trim look, look, look a lot better that's for the gas bottle the water bottles for the fridge and now i've got to cut all the apertures the bits and pieces in the front here Right, so now I've cut that front board. Obviously that's gonna be the last thing to go on because I need to put shelves in. Then we've got to cut a little piece out of here for the sink, when the sink drops in, the sink's gonna be in the middle. So yeah, we've got still got quite a bit to do. Um, but if that's before we put the front panel on. Obviously I've got to cut the doors out of that as well. Um, I have cut one of the shelf panels uh, for the centre bit here. Um, the top of the gas bottle, because we're going for the four and a half kilo bottle, I still haven't got that sorted yet. Um, and But I need obviously to put a little shelf up here. Um, so yeah, we've still got loads to do. But what I'm gonna do first fit the blocks to put this shelf in here because this shelf is going to be removable uh, I'm not fixing the shelf in I'm gonna make life easy on myself so once I put the blocks in there put the shelf on I'll be back to you Hi everybody, I'm back on the traffic again. Because I keep flipping between projects. If I keep saying stuff like that, it's because I'm literally doing my rounds on everything at the moment. Right, so what we've done so far, since I last spoke to you, is there's the gas bottle, it's not fixed in. But I was just checking it against the dropout vent, the cradle there, which is just wedged in, it's not screwed in yet. But I have screwed this back panel in. Now what I have got, is another piece of wood to go across here. And let me just get that and show you. Right, so yeah, so that is gonna wedge nicely, he says. Hmm. better 
So that's going to wedge nicely in there. But before I secure that piece of wood, let me pull it out. What I need to do is put sealant up on the inside of this, all around the inside of these joins, because the gas um, cupboard has to be completely sealed, um, so there's no leaks. So my aim on this one is to seal all the inside first, put the lid on, then seal the underside of it, and probably seal it from the top end as well. And also, I might run some clear silica, uh, silicon, where well, Sikaflex I use, up the back of here as well. So that gas locker there will be completely sealed. So if there's any gas escape, it will literally, because the gas is heavier than air, it will drop straight down to the floor and straight out the dropout vent and out to the outside. So nobody will be at risk in this van. That's the plan anyway. Right, so I'm gonna crack on with that. Once I've done that, I'll come back to you and I'll show you whereabouts we are then. I've also stained the worktop as well. So let me show you that. So there you go, it's been stained. It's upside down at the moment because I've now fitted in the tap, the waste, and also I've put an elbow compression fitting on the end of uh, for the gas hob. And as with all these joints, I always use joints in compound. Um, so I smell like a plumber at the moment. So yeah, and obviously there's the waste hose, which will connect on there. But yeah, it's looking rather nice. Right, so once I put that, once I've sealed that gas box up a bit, put the lid on, I'll come back to you, show you, so you can see for yourself again how far we've got and where we are. Hopefully by that time I'll have the worktop on as well and we'll be starting to plumb in the gas and the water. So I'll be well on the way to a finished kitchen. I'll see you shortly. Right, I thought as I'm going to be sealing this up, I thought I'd let you know what I'm using. I'm using Sikaflex EBT Plus, I'm using clear, and I'm going to seal all around these edges here, front, back. I thought I'd show you how to do it. As you can see I've sealed all around there and I've done the front as well so now that's in there I'm going to smooth it off 
best way to do this. Get yourself a cup of water, stick your finger in it, and use it to smooth the edge off. You get a nice finish on it. That nice smooth edge I'm gonna run a bead up the back there and up the back there and down each side at the front here I'm not gonna video that it's quite a boring process but once I've done that and I put that lid on I said about at the top and sealed that up I'll come back to you and then it'd be time to put the gas bottle in and um, secure that with the strap again I'll do that once this is dry so that'll be back to probably tomorrow or in your case very soon so that's it for now and i'll see you soon well everybody that is it for today and uh the first part of the kitchen build on the Renault traffic as you can see it's really really taking shape now um starting to look good and in the next episode you'll see me hook up the gas and hopefully light up the hob make sure it works hopefully we won't have no gas leaks so anyway, that's enough for me today and I will see you in the next part of this kitchen build. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying very, very well. And most of all, staying really happy in these crazy times. Bye for now.